What's up, YouTube? I'm back with a couple pickups. Um, some modern and some vintage. So the first one is modern. It's this uh, 2001 Topps Chrome Chad Johnson Refractor. It's out of 999. And this is actually a pretty tough card, even though it's you know out of 999. Not a whole lot of them pop up. And it's in really nice condition. Um, so I'll probably send it into PSA eventually. But um, the Drew Brees and the Ladanian Tomlinson um, version of this card go for a lot. Um, but there's, you know, not a lot of Chad Johnson collectors out there. And I guess, um, you know, he's a borderline Hall of Famer. He's, he's got pretty good numbers, but who knows if he'll make it in. But um, you know, I'm a Bengals fan, and this is a uh, definitely a key card of his. And the 2001 Topps Chrome, um, in general, are... are um, a lot of key cards in that football class. Um, and then I picked up this 1985 Topps USA Baseball, Mark McGuire, uh, the classic Mark McGuire card, and a PSA 9. It's uh, pretty well centered for the PSA 9. I think it's a little off centered in the back. Um, 10s are really hard to find, They're, they go for a lot. It's just a tough card to get in a 10 because there's a lot of surface issues going on with these cards and a lot of off-centering issues. But I remember back in like 1998, um, I had a Beckett and the hot cards were like the 89 Upper Deck Griffey and this was definitely one of the hot cards. And I think it was going for like 400 bucks or something, which was a ton of money um, to like a, you know, a young kid. Even now it's a lot of money. <laughs> Um, but I, you know, picked this up for under 45 bucks. So it just goes to show how cards in the 80s were definitely inflated back then. Um, and then I picked up this uh, Tito 6 Tom Downey Fielding. And I already have this card. Um, but I like to upgrade my uh, Cincinnati Reds players whenever I find a tougher back. So I found this in a Tolstoy, which is a pretty tough back. Um, so I was happy to pick that up. And then finally, a card I was pretty stoked about getting, take it out of its wrapper, is the 1933 Gaudi Melot um, number 127. This is the portrait version. Um, I really like this card. I've always loved this pose. The portrait pose. He's kind of got this badass looking scowl on his face. Um, but apparently Melot was just a really friendly guy. I guess some of the photography they used in his early cards just captured him not smiling. Um, but I think this kind of adds to the card. Um, I just This is my first Gaudi card I've actually ever owned. And um, after you know having it in my hands, I really want more of these. I love the size of these cards, and if you get one with you know bright colors and it's just it's just a gorgeous looking set, the Art Deco looking design. And uh, Melot was definitely a um, you know big time player back in the day. He was um, in the 500 home run club. I think he came close to 3,000 hits. And in my opinion, he's just an undervalued player. I mean, he was a superstar um, back in the day. Um, I think, what does it say here? Yeah, he was, he was a short player, like 5'9 and 160, but he still managed to um, hit 500-plus five, home runs. Um, but yeah, happy to pick this up. So I have... Two new additions to the 500 Home Run Club. Um, and that's it. Uh, like, subscribe. Uh, thanks for watching.